I mean, shout out to my twin brother, hey. Because the thing is, is right, he took pharmaceutical science and he told me that. I thought you were about to say he took. I thought you were about to say he took. I thought you were about to say he took. Hi, welcome to another episode of GoPlay. I'm Lucas. I'm a pseudo mathematician, Ezra Kama. I'm a very jaded person, Sue. <laughs> and on today's episode, we'll be discussing uh, the Joseph Schooling saga and how we feel about enforcing laws, Singaporean laws in other countries. So we'll go with. You start first. Uh, I'll start first. You had a lot to say just now. Before we start, so what happened? Okay, so. From my understanding, is that he confessed to doing uh, weed. weed overseas while he was competing for Singapore. For Sea Games. For Sea Games, if I'm not wrong. And, but his Yuri test tested negative. So that's just another key milestone, a key milestone. turn of events in this, uh, in this uh, saga. If you if you even want to call it a saga. It is a saga because like my whole social media is all about that for the past week. Mm. Like everybody's been talking about it. At the same time nobody wants to talk about it anymore because we're all tired of this news. True. Like let's move on. Okay? He fucked up, he fucked up. Let's move on. Okay. You. Um Okay, I don't know because I'm always, I'm a bit conflicted because due to the fact that I think he did it in Vietnam. Yes. So I I don't, I don't understand the law whereby you cannot do drugs overseas when you come back to Singapore. Okay, so I can't do that like that. Yeah, so and I also don't understand why people scrutinize him after like, he confessed and everything. Mm. Yeah, so that's quite interesting because like at one, one point of time everybody was like, Oh congrats, like, he won a gold medal, no, he won a bronze medal for Olympics and yada yada yada. Go, go, go! He beat Michael Phelps. Sorry, gold medal, gold medal for the Olympics. And then the next... Next thing that we all know that people say like, oh, you boo, you smoke weed and everything. So, that's the Actually, there were a lot of people who were supporting him as well, including Chamuga, I think, yeah. right? Just to treat... Your best friend. <laughs> treat everybody as... I mean, treat him as how you would treat... Uh, I cannot English! Okay, so for me, right, in this whole thing, I, I really don't feel that I'm in a position to judge uh, another person's actions, firstly. Uh, secondly, I just think how we acted as a nation was kind of weird. Um, you cannot call him a hero, and you know how much he has done in terms of putting Singapore on a right. on a on a, in a positive light overseas. I, I'm pretty sure there are some people like in the world that did not even hear about Singapore until this guy won the Olympic gold medal. So I feel these kind of things cannot be discredited. I I was just very disappointed in the world in the way. Singaporean media portrayed the whole situation. I feel it's a lot of narrative. And when you read the comments, right, you can see everyone is kind of behind him because we kind of, yes. yes, in terms of black and white, he made a mistake. But the way the newspapers and local media portrayed the whole situation was super unnecessary. Okay, and I really want to call them out on it. You cannot give, you know, let him be the face of Milo, splash his face in the front page. How many newspapers do you sell because of him winning the gold medal? You think about it. And then when he did something like that, the way you phrase your headline. It's the was same thing, like, because super now demonic. they get the promo because they can just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you, you, you are demonizing him just for clicks, for views? I, I think that's, that's just not right. But like, I'm really. pleasantly surprised how many people are behind him because of how anti drug we are in Singapore. And just hearing people like, okay, so he made a mistake, let's move on. It's, mm. I'm very touched by that. Yeah, as that's well. true. Yeah. yeah. And I have to think about it, he's like, uh, what, a gold Olympic medalist, that's one thing. And then he has a lot of pressure from Singapore society for him to do well every single time he needs to participate. Of course, and yes, I, yeah. I think he went through some personal matters. I think yeah. a family member passed, passed away. away. Yeah, yeah. So, like, and then after that, like a few weeks later or months later, he had to compete for the SEA Games. It's like, like, do you guys understand? Not wrong, it's not just a stress. It's like he's yeah. part of Correct. He's like dead. Yeah. He's in, in like, so much stress and he's devastated that he's lost his father. So, in a way, okay, do I support it? No. I mean, like, do I, I mean, like, he makes a mistake and everything, right? But it's just that I kind of like sympathize with him. 
mm. and why he took it and everything. So I think that's my sense. Okay. Now that you mentioned about it, I actually want to know your opinion on our relationship with drug uh, in a way that how we perceive it and how it leads to consumption. Like, what's your opinion on it? Hmm. Uh, th- I think that's a tough, tough question in my opinion because I, I really feel that there's so many factors that have to go into as he was mentioning so many factors to lead someone to want to even try it yeah. not really sometimes you just want to try it for experience for a recreational purpose yeah okay that's, if, if that's the case if that's the case then you know the consequences yes, listen, you are an adult you are, you are a grown adult if you are a teenager you are you know, below consent, consensual age fine you, you did that you could say oh I was easily influenced and all this kind of thing but as an adult you are living in Singapore you hear the rules you hear the laws you choose to to um, go against it yeah. which is totally yeah. in your your, you know, your right to do so but when you do get caught then you know yeah. ah that's where we have to say, do we stand up and man up to the consequences? Yeah, I mean that's why I'm not against because of how Singapore stands with the drugs I get why Singapore government implement this kind of law and I can get on board with this do I agree with it? but I can see why it is mm. and with that, because it is illegal then we should respect respect it because you live here but okay lah, this is one of the rules that I feel like uh, okay, I get it, that's why I follow Okay, but for me, right, it's enforcing the rules while a person is overseas. It's like, okay, let's say uh, Singapore is a dry country. Let's say Singapore don't allow alcohol. Then I go JP and drink. Then I come back. Because the, stance, that be, the Singapore stance is that consumption leads to uh, life being ruined, what? Yeah. Right? So, I mean, you come back, you, still, you are still a, a druggie. Yeah. So with with that okay, fine. With that explanation, then it, it makes sense because, come on, you're not going to take drugs only when you're overseas. No, okay, don't think about it. Right, everything is like drugs. Okay, because like I mean, shout out to my twin brother. Hey, because the thing is, is right. He took pharmaceutical science and he told me that. I, I, I thought you were about to say he took. I thought. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think that's about your brother right here. Like, like everything is drugs. It's because that I mean, even like a medicine, like a panel. Yeah, painkiller. You can get yeah, it. It's a painkiller. But the thing is. It became bad if you over consume it, mm. it bad for your health, so that it's like drugs and everything. So but for me like my question is is that why like why like certain like medication you can take it a lot? And then why like certain medication is considered the, as drugs? And it's the question of why cannabis is not it's considered illegal because it is medicinal and it has a lot of health benefits, but still, I mean it's not the mm. same as like meth. Or cocaine, so this is something that I can't get on board. At the same time, it's also like he just schooling just took cannabis, like it's not like he did mad or anything. It's like why is this so serious? I think the serious thing is because he was, uh, yes. yeah, he was doing his national service. So I think that's where it compounded the the the, the, the problem. I'm sure if someone like some. Uh, take Harry, so yeah, anybody else was just going overseas and he did it and he came back. I don't, I don't think anybody would have noticed or even care. Yeah, uh, we, we don't really hear people getting caught too. Like, no. I don't think I have. Yeah. I mean, uh, exchange students. I, I never went on exchange. Huh? Okay, so how do you feel about this whole saga? I guess it's even among the three of us, we can't really make up our mind about how we feel. So let us know how you feel in the comments down below. A uh, new video every week. Say people, say yourself, bold perspective. Bye. Bye. Bye.